So this is part one of two in this series of how to make this alphabet learning book. This book, which I've called Food Malls, takes a unique approach by instead of using the usual A for apple, B for bat, I've paired each letter with a specific food and animal, then using Midjourney generated the food and animal combination character, hence Food Malls. This is a fresh and engaging way to learn the alphabet, and I'm sure anyone could make one of these following the steps provided in this tutorial, so stay tuned. First thing to do is to get an A to Z of animals and an A to Z of vegetarian food. If you're thinking about doing a book like this yourself, I should mention that it's quite limited on food and animals with the letters Q and X, so everyday objects might be an alternative. First you'll want to prepare your document. I have a full tutorial on how to prepare your document like this with guides for bleed and centerfold in the top right corner. Using the font P22 Stanyan, I wrote out the words apple and ape in preparation for the images. In mid journey, I prompted for an ape and an apple using the prompt apple illustration style, fun, happy, friendly, cute, colorful, white background. And the same prompt again, but changing the word apple for the word ape. I realized in hindsight that the word colorful was actually a hindrance as it was just adding paint splashes to the images. So I took that out in later prompts. I upscaled all the images that I liked the most, ready for the next stage, which was to merge the characters. The method that I used for the first character was to enter forward slash imagine prompt and follow with the image links from the upscaled images. Following the image links, I added the prompt apple with a monkey body, pixel illustration style, fun, happy, cute, colorful, white background. And I also added apple that looks like a monkey, but mostly apple. I did try using image weights, which was basically numbers that can emphasize or de-emphasize certain parts of the prompt. But for some of these characters, I just found explaining to Mid Journey that I wanted to emphasize the fruit and not the animal to work just fine. On screen is an example of how you can use the image weights, as this method can be used as an alternative if you're not getting the results you want. It just helps Mid Journey nudge in the direction you need it to go. So how it works is if you provide the prompt you want, such as an apple followed by colon colon and then any number between zero and two. For this example, the apple would be twice as emphasized as the ape in the image result. When looking at the first set of images, I realized that one ape looked more like an apple and one more like an ape. So I just used both of them for the first pages. So I'm just using the replace color setting to emphasize the apple more than the ape. It's worth copying any elements such as teeth, nose or eyes as this will improve the look and consistency between the characters. Lastly, it's just a prompt for a background. I use the prompt jungle background, illustration style, fun, happy, friendly, cute, simple, flat color, bold, minus, minus, no character to make sure there's no characters in the background. And also minus, minus three, two, which is just the proportions of the image. I like the characters to face towards each other or towards the center fold of the book. So using the transform tool, you can flip it horizontal. I generated the fruit as characters as I found it was merging with the animals better. So I'm just using Photoshop's generative fill tool to select the face and then type the prompt remove face, which does the job perfectly. Also mid journey can sometimes add unwanted elements such as this apple. So again, just select the apple in the same way and type remove as prompt. I thought that the ape could do with a better apple stalk on the head. So selecting the stalk, I prompted for that. And here's the result of the first page. I repeated all three prompts from step one, just replacing apple with banana and ape with bat. This is just a bat I've prompted for a couple of months ago and I thought it came out nicely. So I'll use that one. Banana back character has come out exactly how I'd like, but I'm just going to copy the stalk over from the original banana and it can define the back to look more like a banana. If you want more consistency with maybe a background or character, you can type forward slash settings into discord and hit enter. Here you can turn on high variation mode and remix mode. And once you have the image style you like and you've upscaled it, you can choose the option below the image very strong. This will bring up a prompt box where you can change the setting from field to cave, for example. Here's the result of the second page. 
Using generative fill, I just removed the banana face and also copied over the teeth from the bat. Just prompting for the cow and the cheese in the same way again, but I think using the very strong method might be a better way to keep consistency. You can also use the circle arrows to generate the same prompt again. I tend to do this three to five times to make sure I get the best results. I ended up upscaling the fourth image in this set as it's the best amalgamation of both the cheese and the cow with in mind that I had to copy the legs from the original cow. It is quite hit or miss with mid journey, but if you always consider that you can copy elements from one character to another to also keep consistency, it makes things a lot easier. I did scale up these images manually in Photoshop, which generally you shouldn't do. The best way is to use an AI upscaler online which you can get a clean cut out of the character when removing the background. That's just best if you're trying to get it up to a publishable standard to sell online. So here's a couple more pages done in the same way. To generate the Fox Fries combination character, I chose a different approach. Using the closest combination of the two, I turned on high variation mode and remix mode, and then I selected the very strong button and adapted the prompt that way. I thought with Mid Journey being halfway there with the character that I needed, I just needed that extra prompt to get it to the final version. With all the images in place, I just realized that the Fox Fries character had a bit of a plastic texture to it, so I just went over with a soft brush and airbrushed everything out, and also copied some of the facial features from the original Fox. And using the generative fill tool, I removed the face from the fries and added more fries to the combination character. The generative fill tool is content aware, so it'll be using the fries from the image as reference, so everything should just remain in a consistent style. So here's the result of the next few pages. They were all done in the same way as the previous ones, but I will show you how to do it in a slightly different way this time, where you can use the blend mode, which is forward slash blend, and then you paste the resulting characters into the blend, and it will blend the two into one image. Here's the resulting image. And again, you can use any elements from the left page such as the ice cream so far i've done half the alphabet letters a to o i'll probably in the next video upload the finished book if you'd like to see that and if you enjoyed the video drop us a like and subscribe and see you next time with some more tips and tricks